Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to get your business found online. So let me dive right in. So just a little bit about our agency. We've been marketing online since 1999. We founded NH Strategic Marketing in 2012. Uh, we got hundreds of clients in over 14 states. We specialize in really helping our small business clients grow their business. And what we do, we're a full service digital marketing agency, really specializing in online marketing consulting, web design, uh, search, search engine optimization, SEO, pay-per-click advertising, uh, and getting you found, right? So what do we want to talk about today? It's really showing up when and where your customers are looking for you. That is a key thing, and it's really getting in front of the right customers at exactly the right time. Uh, getting your business on the front page of the Google results. Uh, did you know that more than 60% of the clicks go to people in the first three listings on the front page of Google. And those are typically paid ads. Um, and then the first position listing gets even more clicks than positions two and three combined. So like where you're located in the rankings does matter, okay? And so there's a, some big, big uh, levers to pull on that. And then choosing the right campaign types, okay? So when we're talking about Google advertising, there's there's a bunch of different options. Um, there's you know a, a simple smart campaign, which is kind of the DIY, the do-it-yourself version of Google AdWords. And it's okay, it can work, it can drive some business. If you typically have a really small budget, it's not a bad way to get started. However, um, my head of paid traffic famously has a line that I love to repeat anytime I get. And he said, um, letting Google make your marketing and advertising decisions for you is kind of like letting the IRS tell you how you should do your taxes. It's probably not always going to be in your favor. All right. And when we design a Google advertising campaign for one of our small business clients, we use the full on Google AdWords interface and we can really weed out a lot of the irrelevant clicks, a lot of the irrelevant traffic. Um, and so that's a really key distinction between those two. All right, even beyond just the text-based search ads, you also have what are called Google display ads, right? You know, when you do a Google search on the front page results, you've got the text ads. That's like Google search, right? But beyond that, you have display, which is retargeting on other sites or, or putting banner ads uh, or text-based ads on other web properties that Google is affiliated with. Even beyond that, you've got video advertising, right? Where you can pay to promote a certain video, a YouTube video, to a certain audience. YouTube's the second biggest search engine in the world, you know? And there's some, some benefits to, and we got a lot of clients that do very well with the YouTube advertising that we're doing for them as part of an overall marketing strategy. Then beyond that, you have retargeting. So if somebody visits your website, you can cookie those people and then stay top of mind with them as they go around the internet, okay? Another big thing that's really important with Google Ads is tracking leads and phone calls. Um, we talk about this concept of blind archery where people aren't tracking like they really should be. And it's a big mistake, okay? Because if you're not tracking you know, what you're actually getting out of your advertising, then it's hard to improve on it, right? When we run a Google advertising campaign for one of our clients, we're measuring everything. You know, the impressions, the clicks, the click-through rate, how much we're spending, how many web form leads we're getting, what, what phone leads we're getting, and even beyond that, you know, then you dig into what's your return on investment? You know, for every dollar you're putting into your advertising campaign, what are you getting out on the other side? If you don't have good tracking in place, you can't make really good decisions. You're basically practicing blind archery with your online advertising, and it's not a great way to do it because you don't know what's working. You don't know how to improve it, right? And so by tracking cost per click, conversion rate, and more, you can make better decisions and really refine your campaign over time to make it work more effectively. Uh, even beyond that, setting up Google Analytics to track Google conversion tracking, that's, that's all super important. Uh, and if you're gonna do it and do it the right way, that these are all pieces that you wanna incorporate. All right, I just wanna share, quickly share some misconceptions about Google Ads. 
Um, I've heard it said Google ads are expensive, right? It really depends on your industry and what the, the cost per click is of the keywords you're going after, what uh, you're selling, like what kind of business are you in? You know, we work with a lot of home service based businesses. Um, and for them, you know, like I'll, I'll use the example of a paving contractor running a Google ad, you know, getting a click over to a landing page that turning that person into a lead, you know, they may pay 50, 60, 100 bucks to get that to get that lead, you know, maybe even less if we're doing a good job, right? Um, but if that client is potentially worth thousands and thousands of dollars, and they know for every client they get, they're also usually getting a referral or uh, some, you know, additional word of mouth. On top of that, is that really too expensive to get ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars worth of uh, revenue? You know, you know, for for some businesses, Google Ads is not expensive at all. It's actually underpriced, uh, and you should be aggressively using it. Um, you know, if you're looking at you know deal flow, like how much inbound deal flow does your business have? Um, getting the right people, showing up in front of the right people is, is key, right? And if you think about it, okay, like people are going to Google and they're searching for specific keywords, right? Like paving company near me, window installation company, Concord, New Hampshire, right? Uh, dog trainer, you know, near me, right? Getting in front of those people is absolutely key. You know, if you can get in front of the right people when and where they're searching, it's some of the most targeted paid advertising that you can do, right? And some of the same people that have said Google ads are too expensive, they tell me about how they're doing, you know, radio ads or things like that, and they have no idea how it's working, and it's very expensive, right? So, you know, comparing apples to apples, Google ads is much more effective, right? Um, you know, and then we talk about like cost per click, like lower cost per click is better, right? I've heard people say that. That is absolutely false, you know? Like, you know, sure, we wanna get more clicks at a lower cost per click, but just cause you get like, and, and that's where I have some issues with Google Smart Campaigns, is they'll just bid on completely random and irrelevant keywords that aren't relevant to, you know, somebody that, that like a search that somebody would be doing that would be a customer of yours, right? Like, for example, like you know, sticking with the paving contractor, um, I was talking to a, a potential client yesterday. He's like, I've done Google ads. I had a bad experience with it. And when I dug into the campaign and learned about it, he, he was getting clicks for, for people looking to, you know, install paver patios, you know, because the, you know, somebody typed in paver, but they were looking for brick pavers or more of like what a landscaper would do, right? Or they're trying to buy paver, paver blocks to, to build their own patio. So they weren't even looking to hire a contractor. They were just looking to do it themselves, right? Targeting that keyword is a mistake because it's you got to understand the context of what somebody is searching for. So just because he could get cheaper clicks, including that keyword, it's not his ideal customer. It's going to attract the wrong uh, potential customer, right? He's looking for people that want their driveway paid or they're looking to get a parking lot paid. Those are different keywords. They're going to be higher cost per click, but they're also going to be much more likely to, to turn into a customer. Okay, so that's a key distinction. So lower cost per click is not always better. Another misconception, Google Ads is set it and forget it. This could not be further from the truth. If you are running a Google Ads campaign and you set it up and you never touch it, I guarantee you've got wasted ad spend in there. You've got lost potential. You've got you know irrelevant searches that are just draining your budget. Google Ads is not a set it and forget it platform. You should be uh, on a regular basis. You know, for example, anytime we run a campaign, we've got a 15 point weekly process that we're going through to constantly improve the effectiveness of that campaign. Okay, it is not set it and forget it. If you're doing that, you're you're I guarantee you're wasting money or you're losing out on potential uh, customers. Uh, another misconception, SEO is better. Look, I'm a huge fan of SEO, okay? But if you're gonna do it and you gotta do it and do it well, it is not cheaper. It's, it, you know, it's gonna take a year of investment to really see the benefits of SEO. And it takes a lot of time, right? Um, but I'm not, you know, SEO is not cheaper. It, it can be more expensive. And, and honestly, like Google changes their 
algorithm, you know, like you could put a year of investments paying two, three grand a month for an SEO campaign, a well-run SEO campaign, and then one algorithm change on the hands of Google and all that work is wasted, right? You know, like, and, you know, with Google ads, you could be getting customers today, immediately next week, you know? So it's a big, big difference there. All right. So that's what I've got for you guys. I hope that you got some value out of that. Um, you know, a couple things I'll wrap in with, just important things to know about Google AdWords. You know, a reasonable cost per click for your industry is going to vary, right? You know, uh, and it's something that we can talk about and, and dig into for your industry. So if you're interested in what it would take to run a Google advertising campaign, for your industry, I'm happy to have a conversation, talk about that, see how we can help you out. It's un it's important to understand key terms like cost per click, impression share, uh, conversion rate. I can break that down for you. So if you're open to having a discussion, I'm happy to meet with you, kind of look at some of that stuff. Um, another thing to understand is, you know, success leaves clues and there's no secrets online. So we can tell you how your competitors are leveraging Google paid ads. Uh, we can take a look at that and let you know and actually give you some competitive spy research on some of your competitors. Um, also, another important thing to know is keywords and negative keywords, like how to use them. Bidding on the right keywords, adding in negative keywords, which is kind of like an if-then statement. Like if somebody's typing in, for example, cheapest paving contractor, near me, maybe we don't want to show up for that search because it's going to attract the wrong potential customer for us, right? Um, and then really important, I can't over, overstate this enough, is how to properly set up conversion tracking. Um, having poor conversion tracking uh, or not having any in place, uh, it's, it's just a recipe for disaster, okay? So the what makes us different, you know, here at NH Strategic Marketing, we're really focused on return on investment for our clients. Right, we don't lock people into long-term contracts with paid paid advertising campaigns. Uh, people keep us around because it's working, and they're getting they're getting great results. Uh, we drive to proven high-converting landing pages, um, under understanding results with performance dashboard that clearly breaks down what you're doing, how what you're getting out of it, what your return on investment is is key. We daily uh, on a daily basis monitor and track the results. And we are consistently optimizing the campaign. So just a couple core differences about how we do what we do and why you should uh, reach out and have a conversation with us. So um, what I would invite you to do, if you got some value out of this, you want to learn more, see if this is a fit for your business, I invite you to come to uh, meetwithkyle.com and just book a time to chat with me. Uh, right there, you'll find my calendar on that page. And if that's something you're interested in doing, I invite you to have a conversation with me. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Please like, comment, and share, uh, and check out some of our other videos. And I hope to be talking with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.